All right, what's good, everyone? This is Kriya Paul once again, starting the second of today's podcasts. I'm just going through some questions for Embrace the Stains. So thank you for coming in. And last time, if you actually hear last time's uh, or last our last podcast, my last podcast, or my last uh, stream, talking about being made that way, being made. St- to be lovely, to be beautiful, to be strong and awesome. You're made that way because God has called you that way. He's made you his masterpiece. So I hope you guys were encouraged by that. I'm probably going to be cutting out uh, a lot of it. If you haven't already heard it, I'm probably going to cut out a lot of it from YouTube. So you just got to get the gist of what I was talking about. So without further ado, I'm actually going through some questions right now. And hopefully we fall into another question that encourages you guys. Oh man, this this question right here. Which is worse, failing or never trying? Which is worse? I'm going to tell you this. It sounds like failing. Okay, it sounds like failing is better than never trying. But it's hard. It, so here's the thing. People who have failed know how hard it is. You wish I'm talking real talk, real talk. Because most people say, oh, well, never trying is the worst thing. Yes, I'll agree to that. But hear how important that this question is because it's hard. It's hard for some people to choose trying when you failed big. Um, well, hold on, guys. Maybe I should show my face. Give me a second. Hey, guys, I'm showing my face. Oh, yeah, the whole Naruto thing. Hold up. Oh, you know what? No, I'm just, well, I like it this way. It's fine. Let's go over here. I'm going to use this one instead. There you go. What's good, y'all? So, failing and never trying. <laughs> so, okay, sorry. my computer's over here, so I always look at this. So, um... If I'm looking over here, just because I'm looking at looking at the stream and stuff, but I am looking at you guys. So, yeah, I know I'm not playing Minecraft either anymore. I'm just gonna doing a talk. Felt like talking, and Minecraft was being very, 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 very slow. So here we go. Now, when you talk about when you talk about failing, failing's hard. Failing is hard on you. Failing murks you. I failed a dozen a dozens of times in my life. Uh, whether it was school, whether it's in my workplace, whether it's with my family, whether it's with my friends, I failed a lot, I, a lot. Like I can't count on one hand how many times I can I actually call and talk about my failures. And we can be like we can be all like mushy and emo- like super emotional about it, talking about it's like oh it's not really a failure. I'm talking about embrace the stains. It's like hey. Stains, they're not mistakes. They're not, and I, I, I do still believe that. I really do. The whole idea of embracing stains is that you see what had not worked in your life, what you think doesn't work, and you see how it really works into what God has really in store for you. You see your, your flaws, your mistakes, and your failures, and you, you, you try to step back and see the big masterpiece i'll tell you this though when you're looking at a masterpiece in terms of like a painting i'll just use that metaphor when you look at a masterpiece i'll tell you one thing the blacks are hard to color the shadows hard they're hard to color the dark gritty parts of your masterpiece they're hard to go through like the dark times that's all i meant by it i hope people don't like they, they get that whole like sound bite <laughs> hey i'm not trying to be like that i'm not trying to be like some some of you guys are thinking like did you really say that what i'm saying is it's hard to color dark times in your life oh let me see even say this it's hard to color light times in your life too times where it's really really because you know what it's, it's funny as a photographer 
you're you're always balancing lights and darks shadows and piercing lights you don't ever want to be too much in extremes of both you try to keep that equilibrium because you don't want to oversaturate or over um overpopulate your your photo with with too much whites or too much lights why well, I, I say whites because that's what they call them. it's whites so if you if your white is too bright it'll actually uh, uh, it'll ruin the picture if your darks are too dark it'll also ruin the picture you need to stay in this interesting equilibrium of both but sometimes it helps the picture sometimes the darker the places are the greater the greater the picture and contrast of the whole masterpiece I like that metaphor I hope you guys get that metaphor it's hard to say even though it's true it's hard to say that not trying is the worst when you failed so much when you feel like you failed a lot and again it's 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 the idea of stepping back from the painting to try to see the big picture here's the thing though you don't get to as humans we don't get to see the big picture we want to we want to say that we have this big plan and usually we do a lot of really great people a lot of really great achievers they'll say that they had a plan they had a plan they had a purpose for everything that they were doing in their life that's cool that's fine and they may even achieve it but no matter how much you achieve you can't predict tomorrow you can't predict what might happen some of the most successful people that I've known in my life have also had some of the biggest failures the biggest trials the the, the hardest of circumstances and that only made their story their masterpiece all the more glorious all the more awesome yet it's hard to go through those hard times so it's hard it's, it's hard but you can you can totally say it's like yeah it's like you know i'd rather fail than never try i'm like but are you ready to fail that's the question i'm not saying that you will i'm saying are you ready are you ready to fail like i saw this billboard one time especially when i was going through some of the dark times in my life there was this question i said what would you attempt to do if you knew you would not fail here's the thing though in life you're never going to go through that you're never going to go through life thinking that this won't fail because honestly it will I had another question the question that hit my heart was what would you go through in life what would you try knowing that you'd fail anyway what things would you do and this is what I mean it's like hey, because people are thinking it's like well I wouldn't try anything because if you're going to fail why would you try it there's a big thing that you can learn from failure you can learn a lot I even say you can learn more from failure than you can from success because success doesn't prepare you it doesn't prepare you for everything that might go wrong it doesn't prepare you to be on your toes it doesn't prepare you to be resilient it doesn't prepare you to be strong a lot of times failure is needed to strengthen a person's life to reinforce it that's not to say that you'd grow hard or you have like this hard stony heart that doesn't feel anything anymore because you failed so much what i mean is you become more careful you become more cautious you become more cunning you can even become more strong i know this instance i don't want to get too much into it where i actually had to fail and to be honest i knew i was gonna fail honestly god put in god put in my heart to try something for me to try something and i knew in my heart i knew i was gonna fail i was gonna fail but what i learned is an exercise of faith what i learned is an exercise of trusting in him even though i knew i was gonna fail maybe in my head it made it fail but at the same time knowing the circumstance i knowing knowing the circumstance you can already tell it was gonna fail anyway so but i tried it got put it in my heart try it try 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 and i tried <laughs> and it failed again don't want to go through too much of the circumstance um for those of you who know me um it is a um it is relationship related <laughs> 
And I tried and I failed, which is fine. What I learned from it was having my faith in God in everything that I do. I also learned that I didn't have a lot of faith in God, although I thought I did. I didn't have a lot of trust in God, even though I thought I did. Because the things that, the things that in my life were so successful, partly I knew it's like, oh, God will make successful. But partly I knew because of my knowledge, because I know how things work out. In that sense, I didn't take risk. I don't want to even call it risk, but I really just didn't have faith. I didn't trust God. I still have issues with that. See, the thing is, I learned more about who I was and who I wasn't by failing. I learned about... I learned about my humanity. I learned about my shortcomings. I learned about what I could not do without God by failing for God I'm kind of warned to ask what are you guys failing at and what are you guys learning from it so the thing is you can be successful in failure what I mean is you can find what you are supposed to learn or what you should be learning or what's good to learn in failure more than you can in success sometimes that's what I said before but sometimes you need to fail to, to do what's right or to become what's right. You need to fail in order for you to succeed. It's, it's, it's a weird oxymoron. You need to fail to succeed. I did. I had to fail to find out I didn't trust God. I had to fail in my own work, in my own way, doing my own thing, to find out that I need to trust God to succeed. I wouldn't have learned that if I, if, if I kept succeeding. I wouldn't have learned that if God allowed me to use my brains and my smarts, which I don't have a lot of. I mean, I have a good amount, but not a lot. But if I just relied on that, and everything was just going well, then I would never rely on God. I always rely on my own brains, my own smarts my own knowing how to do stuff and because I stopped relying on my own way I was able to have faith in God's way at the lowest points in my life when I just said God you know what just take control those are the times where I knew my faith was stronger Those are the times where, and especially last year, when I was talking about the circumstance, I was talking about before, that's when I learned that I needed to have more faith in God, that I didn't have much at all, that I had trust issues. I don't want to ramble too much on my stuff, but I, what I do want to say is that when you say failure isn't as worse as never trying, be ready to fail, because you will. Not because I'm encouraging it, not because I, I, I doubt that you can that you can do it, because I know you can. But be ready to fail, because sometimes failure has a deeper lesson. The question once again, let me pull it up. Is hard for me to find right now. <laughs> is which is worse, failing or never trying? Here's one thing that I will say. I remember telling this to my cousin. A lot of people, actually. I remember having this big, huge thing about failing. Knowing in my heart that I was going to fail. And I kept saying that, you know what? I think I'll learn more by failing. And I did. I used to tell... I, used to, I told my cousin, actually, who, uh, who was in Texas. Now he's back in the Philippines. I used to tell him, it's like, I need to try this thing. This thing, I know I'm going to fail. But I need I need to fail to learn something about who I am. What I'm missing. See, the thing is, I also had confidence issues in that too. And it's like, I need to fail. 
pushing for was right. You know what? You know what was the, the wonderful thing about it is God worked with me with it. I almost embraced failure. I was like, God, I'm just going to fail. And in that, I succeeded because God started opening doors I never knew. I never knew were there. God started opening up my confidence. He started to show me that he's made me. I'm going back into being made, being a masterpiece, but that's what it is, right? When you embrace the stains, when you embrace the things within your life, you're actually embracing the things that make you a masterpiece. When you embrace the idea of failure, whether or not you fail, when you embrace the idea that you might and probably will fail, you embrace the idea of growth. You embrace the idea of learning who you are. But there's this thing, not, not to go on too much of a tangent, but when I was uh, trained to be a teacher, and I was supposed to be a teacher a couple of years ago, but things just didn't work out, the door was closing. But I did learn a lot from my training as a teacher. And one of the things that I learned was the idea of assessment. Now, you probably know them as tests or exams. See, the thing is, for a teacher, tests and exams are not what you think they are. They actually mean more to a teacher because what a teacher does with a test or an exam or a quiz is they're not necessarily gauging how much you know. They're, engage, they're, they're gauging how well they taught. And this will be really interesting now when, once you go through tests because now when you go through an exam, think about this. Think about how you're trying to take an exam you're trying to do the best you can. You're trying to learn the material. You're trying to cram it all into your head. And you know what the teacher's thinking? The teacher's thinking, did I do a good job? Did I do well enough? Did I impart that knowledge well enough? Did I make it so that it's understandable to my students? And the arrogant teachers won't care. Arrogant teachers treat it the way you guys feel it. It's like, I need to know this because he taught it. But you know what? Good teachers, do you think? They'll, they'll go they'll go they'll go alongside you it's like i'm going to continue to teach because it's my passion and i need to make sure that it, you're understanding it because if i don't do that i'm not teaching you the whole idea of teaching is imparting knowledge if they can't impart knowledge they're a bad teacher in fact they're not even a teacher the whole idea is to impart knowledge and what an assessment is is to find out whether that knowledge is passed whether it's passed on see the idea of a failing then the idea of going through trials and going through these, these things within your life, the idea of, of embracing failure as well as success, the idea becomes even, even more awesome because you can find out places in failure. You can't do it in a success. In success, you might miss something, honestly. You'd be so successful just doing a certain thing that you may not see the flaws that you're missing the things you need to change because you're being so successful in the questions that are being answered to you. You might not know that you have confidence issues if everyone keeps saying yes to you. What's, what happens when someone says no? What will happen? You don't get your way for the first time. You don't get your way. And how do you deal with it? You may not have learned. You may not have learned to roll with that punch. And you may have it knock you out. So the idea of failure... is knowing where you need help and it actually makes you better when you fail because you know where you need help you know where you need encouragement you know where you need to be taught again and to be taught more that's the idea of failure that's, that's the whole idea of, 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 of teaching that's the whole idea of I don't want to be encouraged. I don't want to encourage you to be failures. I, I just want to encourage you to learn from failure. And that's what that's what happens. You fail forward. You fail. You learn. You adapt. You grow. It starts with failure sometimes. Sometimes. Could you learn from success? Yes, you could. But how much do you learn, honestly, when you succeed? Because again, in, in, a, in an assessment, if you pass an assessment, you apparently know the knowledge. So there's nothing else to learn. But what if there is? What if there was something that you missed? 
What is there something that you're missing? See, here's the thing. Never trying. Never trying is worse only for the fact that it's almost like succeeding. Almost. In succeeding, at least you know you learned it. The idea of never trying is never taking the assessment. Never wanting to change. To just give up is to say that you do not want to be the masterpiece. You don't want to see your flaws. You don't want to see what's wrong. You don't want to make it right. You don't want to even know if it's right or wrong at all. That's the idea of never trying. And you can't make a masterpiece without trying. Sooner or later, the brush has to hit canvas. And once the brush hits canvas, it's make or break. You either make a mistake or it's successful. You either did it wrong or, or you did it right. But you won't know unless that brush hits canvas. See, the idea of never trying is equivalent to not being the masterpiece that you are. I don't even say it's equivalent. It is. It's not wanting to be a masterpiece. It's not wanting to live. I would even say the not trying is a form... Ooh. <laughs> not trying is a form of suicide. Because you're killing the self that needs to grow. You're actually not giving it any room to grow. At least try. So if you try, you can work with it. You can work with it, even with failure. But if you don't ever try... It's like you're it's like you're killing the real self in you. So I encourage you, try. I encourage some of you, fail. <sighs> Going back to the one thing that I like talking about a lot, relationships. Try it. Just try. Don't try too hard. Don't try to push a relationship. But make friends. Try. If you like someone, don't necessarily tell them they're the right times to do it, but try. Make friends with them. Talk to them. So if it's right for you. And if it's not, move on. But don't never try. That, that That's the one thing that I didn't learn until now. Guys, until now, I'm telling you, for real. I never tried. Ever. I never tried. Of the times where I actually tried to ask, like really tell a girl that I liked them, it's two times in my entire life. My entire life. Man, man, Try all it's only those two times and guess what guys two, those two times you failed <laughs> which is fine it's awesome because you learn so those two times I would never take it back I still would have tried come on just try just try just see what guy will do because you, you never know like seriously you never know what growth is around the corner you never know the word a yes will be unless you try now, yeah when it comes to relationships start by being friends try just try just try to be friends if you can't be friends cool or if you're just meant to be friends awesome stay there if God allows you to be more great don't give up. Just try. If things don't work out, don't worry about it. Move on. If things do work out, don't be afraid. You're going to fail a lot. But you're going to learn a lot. That's how you grow. If the, if, if the relationship is meant to work, you're going to fail. If you like someone a lot, you're going to fail. A little bit. You might hurt them emotionally, hopefully not physically. But growing, especially when you're growing together, it's going to hurt. It'll be worth it. That's my big encouragement for you guys. Whatever you try, whether it's careers or whatever, it's everything else, one of the things that I'm, I'm, I'm really noticing in, in youth is the is idea not to fail. Like they want to hit everything they're all they want to make all the right steps all the right moves they're afraid to fail at one thing 
but I'm finding that here's here's the thing I'm finding out they're afraid to make commitments so they don't make any see the problem with that is that when you don't make a commitment you don't try sooner or later you're just gonna say this is my commitment this is what I'm gonna do just do it I see a lot especially within careers within college it's like just try it have I made mistakes in that yeah I made mistakes I was supposed to be a teacher I'm not a teacher right now that door closed on me I failed it was a failure but it wasn't the end all be all because of that I, f I found my heart for ministry because the whole time when I was teaching the whole time when I was learning to teach one thing kept, kept coming to my mind is like I don't want to teach any of these subjects the only subject I want to teach is is the Lord and I would never have found out how much I wanted to minister I never would have found out how much I, I wanted to 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 be part of the ministry or pursue full-time ministry to one way or another whether it's doing this podcast or writing poetry and everything else or whether, whether you, know, you know all these things I never would have known how much it, it meant it meant to me if I didn't fail at teaching even, even now as as much as people say oh you'd be a good teacher I might have might have but it, it, it never soaked in with me because the only thing I wanted to teach is God so in that sense I failed forward I failed but I learned so much about who God was meaning for me to be so much so and it helped me go forward into where I am now into my pursuit of full time ministry and the pursuit of doing this podcast and everything else I would, known. I would never have known unless I failed unless something didn't work out so I encourage just try if it doesn't work out fine it's okay that's not to say it's like try so many things and knowing you're going to fail that's <laughs> in my case unless God's saying hey try it anyway is there something I want to teach you but at the same time it's like you know what try pray about it and then make the commitment this verse I think it's in Habakkuk or something it's in one of the minor prophets where it says uh, take the vision and write it plain on tablets so that the herald may run with it so here's the thing when, when God gives you something like that may fail may not fail the word of God says if you write it, if you write a plane on tablets and that hell will run with it um, he says that if you're patient it would come back to you and it would not delay it would bear fruit and it would not delay there's fruit in it it doesn't mean it's going to be like the actual fruit what I mean is let me back up firstly it does say that you need to write it plain you need to have a pure and proper goal but then after that it says that the herald runs so once you have it commit to it you have to start running you have to start making it work and God says it won't return to you void it may not return the same way but it won't return void it may return in an act of failure but in that sense it's also success in terms of your growth in terms of what you learn in terms of what 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 God want who God wanted to make you to make you out to be and maybe the next successful venture the next time you don't know so try pray about it see if this is God's will for you to, to do it do it knowing that you'll succeed but don't be afraid if it fails because you'll still learn you'll still grow and God will still have something in store for you that was pretty good. <laughs> Made a pretty good time with that one. That was about 20-ish minutes. Oh, almost 30. Well, that was a lot of rambling. That was another question for you guys. Um, along with this, if, if you guys want like prayer or anything, if, if you guys need encouragement or you feel like you're failing at something, leave a comment. You're probably going to be listening to this on Facebook. If you are listening to the podcast, I'll try to leave some details over there. Or if not, uh, you can go, of course, to my to my website, embrace sustains live dot wordpress dot com. 
leave a comment in, in anywhere over there one of my poems one of my blogs or um, even the link to to this leave a comment there or shoot me an email I have my email information there shoot me a message on Facebook wherever if you guys are going through it I, I want to hear from you guys I want to encourage you guys if you guys are going through it again if you listen to this on YouTube leave a comment say hey I'm going through this when the stuff I could use some prayer yes I'm failing and I feel like it's forward but it's hard failing is hard it's hard it's harder not to try it's worse on you but don't don't be fooled failing's hard but you'll grow I guarantee you'll grow from it if you don't if you don't let it weigh you down I let it weigh me down sometimes I'm learning from that too if you don't let failure weigh you down you're going to see that God will teach you so much stuff and you'll see a success even within the failures you think you have it's the whole idea of Brazen States it's the whole idea about what we do here in this community you embrace the things that you think are failures you think are mistakes and when you do you'll find that they were just brush strokes of an almighty God as he continues the masterpiece of your life of who you are so I encourage you with that again leave comments if you like this video please share it leave highlights I know it can be kind of long it's fine if you guys love and, and enjoy listening to podcasts I hope you enjoy this one and I hope it's encouraging to you honestly I really do hope it's encouraging to you so that's about it once again leave comments leave anything encouragements if you think I failed <laughs> hope I didn't and I hope you learned something alright 